was a game. <laughs> yes, it was. And my God, that's it's a fun tough. game. It's hard yeah, though. That's a tough that is one. A hard game. I think it, the thing that makes it so challenging is having it be a twenty roll, and everything's higher than like this guy being you've a got, nine is stuff. But everything was like you've got, twelve yeah, or higher. Yeah. So it's, yeah, you've got less than a fifty percent chance to hit. Yeah, and most yeah, most of my stuff is like I have a zero, a minus two, and a plus four, <laughs> and I only do one damage on most of that. Yeah, so it's a, it's a challenging to hit. Yeah, it's I feel like it's a bit too much luck. Like there uh, there is some mitigation, like from your choosing which attack, but you've only got two attacks to choose from, or an item, which is one use, yeah, which is normally just do some damage. So I feel like there's not enough strategy mitigation to, you know, offset how random that damn dice was. Yeah, it could be a challenge, because especially when we're, like, stuck in these, there's a lot of corridors, and we're fighting, like, head-to-head, -head, mm -hmm. and my guy's not really meant to be fighting head-to-head, -head, but, like, I find myself in the fray anyways, because hitting with my quarterstaff is my most, like, my best chance right. of, of fighting a guy. Uh, uh, something that the online rule book says that's different than the printed one, all characters start new chambers with full health and no items carried over from the previous chamber. All right, uh, seismic event. This could kill James. Oh, this could kill me. Oh, <laughs> Don't kill me. Ha! I said not to oh, kill me! I thought you said to kill you! <laughs> Damn it! James is dead. I'm dead. All right, all right. And everyone takes one point. I know. Ow! James is dead. I'm dead. I died. <laughs> he comes back at the next chamber and works on spooky tits. Oh, I hope. <laughs> that makes this game actually beatable. That's completely opposite of what the rule book. Okay, so that's another thing I have a problem with, is how different this rule book is from what they have on updated rule book on the on the website. Yeah, because that changes like mechanics, like yeah. changes the whole game. Yeah, with this the, is version one point oh one, and that I'm guessing that's version one point oh one point oh. So the, we played with the one point oh rules, which and, are tough. Yeah, very difficult. Yeah, uh, the one point oh one rules seem like they're a little bit more balanced to me. The full health glance. would have been nice. Full health, that would have been way different here. Yeah. You gotta take that full risk. Yeah. But and then, yeah, man, the, having everything be less than a 50% chance to hit them. Yeah, snacks were gone, hope is lost. And all of the bad guys have have bonuses to hit that are pretty yeah, substantial. It, everything, everything hits way harder than we hit two, which is a... Yeah, they all hit for damage that's like a minimum of two. Yeah, we, we were definitely the C-class adventurers. And we, we half out at two damage. That's, yeah. I mean, my backstory was he and they have magic more health items. Than us. <laughs> it said it was a, it was for a prophecy and he's like, well, it, I guess that's me. <laughs> so he went out in the world. He got himself killed in a dungeon. And so someday an adventurer will find his... <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the, the main class adventurers were like, Send those guys down. They kind of suck. <laughs> yeah. I I'd, I'd be curious. I don't I don't particularly want to do it tonight because it would involve us taking time to read through that rule book. Right. But I would be curious to play this game, like with the 1.01 rules, mm -hmm. uh, just to see how it's how, how much if it's if it's significantly easier right. or if it just feels more plausible. I, I feel like we would have had a more chance to get all the way through it. Yeah, with full health on this. But this this felt impossible. Yeah, yeah. insurmountably difficult. Yeah, that three HP was not enough to deal with this bull. Yeah, and we were all and there's there's a lot of like shit. There's a lot <laughs> there's a lot of RNG to your chances because like what items end up locked behind gates? What uh what is the the dungeon layout? What's the orientation of all of these cards? Where do they all end up landing on the map? All right. of that stuff, but there's still a lot of stuff like that is already guaranteed. You're guaranteed to have four items. What is it? Three items locked behind gates. One, two, three items on this. On this chamber. One, two, three. One, yeah. two, three. Is there any more items? And are there items that I'm missing? Yeah. It's a monster. Oh, that's a monster. There's an item. Okay, so there's three and three. So technically, you could be in a situation on this floor where all three keys are locked behind the three doors. Yeah, 
That that's definitely a possibility. That, that is game breaking. Yeah, that's not good. Because what can you do? You, you can't. You can't get in to kill this monster then. Especially if, by the 1.01 rules, items don't carry over, so there's no way for somebody to teleport in there. Right? Yeah, no, not, not even possible. The hammer destroys one space of wall, allowing characters, oh, monsters, okay. and attacks to pass through. Okay. So that, that's... So that's there is yeah, so there's so still a way to get There's through. a guarantee that you can open. Yeah. You can either get a key okay. or... Then it's, then it's not... It, the game is not broken inherently there. But it is very challenging. It is. Yeah. Uh, I think, I think the 1.0 rules, it's too challenging, just based on how that wins. Right. Obviously, yeah. most people were bitching. I expect to lose oh, yeah. a co-op game the first time I play it. I better be losing um, it. Yeah, because it's, because that's the replay value, yeah. is, is the difficulty. But that just felt, my god, that's impossible. But knowing that there's updated rules, yeah, and I, just, like, looking at some of those, those updates... Have helped because... It still doesn't fix my problem of how hard it is to do damage to things. Yeah. Because uh, it, it does feel like it's a 25% chance every time, which feels too low for a monster that can... That has 12 hit points. Yeah. yeah that can dish out a fit damage, damage per turn. Yeah. 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 Especially in the first level, I'm like, this thing, these pile of rats is beating the <laughs> shit out of me. <laughs> oh, God! Could not hit those rats to save my life. And I'm gonna attack them with my four. What, how much move six? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. And then I am going to attack with my scimitar, which is a minus one, so I have to get a uh, at least a thirteen on that. I did not. Ten's do that. not gonna cut it. I did not do that. <laughs> so uh, I just went swoosh, and they're they're just like really really like fast little 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 yeah. bastards. Yeah. You can't really catch. You'd think with a whole bunch of rats, you'd be able to hit one of them pretty easily yeah. when you're up close, but they move. They're nimbly, 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 man. Nimbly, nimbly as But that makes it challenging. Yeah. Uh, so I, I would be curious to try it uh, knowing the updated rules yeah. instead of instead of the, the printed ones. On my plus four attack, I don't think I hit a monster once. Yeah. I don't. How many times did you hit with your plus four attack? Never. Uh, I yeah. Hit the, with you with yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you're right. They're the only time I hit. Twice, I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, once was with my plus zero, and once was with my plus oh, okay. one. No, it was with my minus two. <laughs> so I only got minus one. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's so that's it's a very challenging game, uh, entertaining but but uh, like a, a little too challenging with those 1.0 rules. It feels like it should be a D10 or D12, and then HPs to be like modulated down. Like right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get using the D20 because it's a dungeon crawler and it's yeah. trying to capture D that D feel. Yeah. with the AC. I just yeah. think maybe the number values are a little. Lopsided. That's it, my problem when they put D20s in board games, usually, because I'm like, that's that's still a, a wide spread of numbers <laughs> that we yeah we roll. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's Dark Tomb, The Crypts of Aurelian. You can pick it up at darktomb.com. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Hey, thanks for hanging out. If you want to spend more time with us, do us a favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and most importantly, head on over to twitch.tv slash bnbtabletop and give us a follow there. We play board games live every Sunday night at 5 p.m. Pacific time on a show we call The Board and Barrel. And we like to keep things interactive. You guys can influence what happens throughout the course of a game with our buff and nerf house rules. You can also make predictions on how things are going to pan out, play virtual bingo for a chance to win a free board game of your own, and heckle us and stuff from the chat. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you Sunday night.